For example, you could put it in a paint if the concentration was strong enough. The subject wouldn't need to ingest it. They, they wouldn't even need to touch it. They just walk into the room and breathe and they're done. I fucking love that idea. Oh, and it could be any color. It doesn't have to be red. Of course. There you are. These are the men I was telling you about. Our wonderful idea men, Zach and Jan, they have fire and ice. Zach, uh, it's a beautiful space here, uh, light filled. Audrey is the special sauce that really holds this place together. Special sauce? Well, glue. It's uh. glue. Well, the guys had a question about implementation. Uh, yes, the memory effects of the extract. The Permanent? Or? Our research is still what ongoing. Is about? What memory down. effects? <laughs> it's the so extract. nice to meet you. What we will be right back downstairs. Is there any pain? Ah, there! Right where you're touching! He's got a scholarship on the table from Boston College. Okay, another concussion that might rescind the offer. My eyes! Everything's blurry! Right, you have to stay still. Son, you okay? Dad! Red. Dad, I can't see! Stay I can't still, see! Red. So then I just break up the center and carry the puck into the zone myself? Exactly. You catch the D-man in the neutral zone. You... And I'll be left with the two-on-one. Good read. CT head and spine were clear. So, I'm out of here. Go Eagles. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Brett, um, if you could lie on your side, pull your knees up to your chest. I'm good. Are you OK? I feel a little dizzy. OK. Brett? Brett? Brett! Brett! <laughs> Hockey is so uh, ambitious. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dad played pro, and I was skating before I could walk. Yeah. If I wanted a different career, nothing else would feel right on me. Guess you can't escape who you are. Mm. I'm just going right there. Why don't we have a seat? Okay. Okay. HHT. HHT. What's that? I can still play, right? It's my recommendation that you quit hockey. You said if I, if I take the wrong hit. Are you saying I could die? That's what I'm saying. It can. Hey! Are, aren't you Gordon Pike? Who's asking? Chill, dude. I used to dig your music. Cool shirt, man. That's like the, the dollar bill, right? Yeah. Oh, aren't you some kind of conspiracy theorist now or something? Dude, you really believe in all that shit? Reptilian mind control. Come on. Fuck you, you coincidence theorist! And don't forget your tinfoil hat! I said you forgot your tinfoil hat. Mr. and Mrs. Nasiri, I'm so sorry about Danny. Get him away from us. Damn, dude, I just want to tell you I didn't kill him. Byron, come on, let's go. What initially led you to suspect the defendant, Byron Welch? Has there been a prior altercation between him and Danny Nasiri? We found a sweatshirt had been shoved into the back of Byron's closet under his dirty underwear. A cage? This has clearly been devised for keeping people against their will. We don't want a house with a dungeon. No, 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 hold on a second, honey. Let's think about this for a minute. What? You like the rest of the house, right? And it's in a great neighborhood. We're getting way more house here than anything else we've seen in our price range. What are you saying? Are you saying you want to own a dungeon? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. I want to own a house that you know, just so happens to be sitting above an extremely <laughs> well-built dungeon. It's unique. Very unique. You'll be the only house on the block with one. And then just don't use it. Don't come downstairs. I mean, you like the rest of the house, right? Just the fact that it exists. Do you understand why dungeons are built? Who built this? The current owner? I don't want to give money to someone who felt the need to build a dungeon. That it seems. FD. Hello, I'm Damien Conrad Davis. Hello.